I'm going to show you 10 fragrances I found under $39 that are not so much talked about. Starts with Hugo Boss, reversed, a simple composition, has rosemary, grapefruit, touch of bergamot, like a citrus orange, and some vetiver. Very simple, very minimalistic, very comfortable to wear, and very, very fresh. If you live in the hot, hot islands or the very hot temperature southern Texas or southern Florida, this would be the one for you. Especially if you're sweating in all the really, really hot weather, this is perfect for extreme heat fragrance for actually less than $29. It was hard to find last year. It came out in 2018. It's best suited for spring and summer. However, I've worn this all year round. The longevity on this fragrance was seven hours to nine actually, depending on how I sprayed it. I sprayed it like a boss to get the nine. The projection isn't as good as I'd like, but if you spray it a lot all over your body and clothes, it will project for you. Compliments were pretty good on this fragrance. I personally didn't experience any, but I've only tested it a few times. But many people told me they got tons of compliments with Hugo Boss Reversed. The bottle is a 4.2 ounce bottle, which is another plus. It's a little bit more juice for you to spray away like crazy. It's basically a citrusy, woody, vetiver fragrance. The next fragrance, I can't believe that it smells so good. It has grapefruit in it, and it just... And when I spray it and think about it four hours later, I'm thinking, what is that that smells so good on me? And it's this fragrance. It has some cinnamon in it on long side, some blonde leather. So a light leather grapefruit citrus scent. Women can't resist this fragrance. Performance is way above average. Price tag is like 28 bucks or something. And it smells similar to a famous Chanel of your fragrance in my head a little bit. The next fragrance is... The next one is Benz Man Intense. I don't hear too many people talk about it. Don't get it confused with Mercedes Benz Intense. This is the Man Edition with the square bottle. Pressurized sprayer. Really good presentation. Really good sprayer quality. It's got patchouli, pear, ambroxan, and musk mallow. When you spray this, you think about Mont Blanc Legend meets Dior Sauvage. After it dries down, it smells really, really close to Dior Sauvage, actually. Price tag on this, under $39. You just have to wait a few minutes for the dry down. It comes out beautifully, comfortably. There's nothing wrong with this fragrance, and it performs excellent, actually. The next fragrance is the hidden gem of the day, which I couldn't find for under $39. Full disclosure, but for the video's sake... A few months ago, it was under $39. It's called Kenneth Cole Reaction Connected. It comes in this cool bottle with the, the keychain. Looks like some sort of a flask. This was the box that came in like that. Now, just a few months ago, I found tester bottles without this little keychain for under $39. But as the time of this video, this fragrance is about averaging $80 in the box on eBay. And it does smell cool. Now, if you're this guy... Who doesn't know about this came out in 2011 at the same time this came out i had a bottle on my dresser at the same time this came out i was also messing around with prada amber fragrances and so this was pushed to the side also in 2011 i was messing around with bond number no. nine fragrances and creed aventus fragrance so this one didn't get as much love and attention in my history of fragrances as it should have because I started to become a fragrance snob. I just learned about Bond Number no. 9 a few years earlier. And I was out there seeking the best, most expensive fragrances. And I was like, Kenneth Cole! Ha ha! Who wants Kenneth Cole? But actually, this is a great fragrance. It's a cool find. LMAOF, the group that sings I'm Sexy and I Know It. They came out with this when the same time this fragrance came out. And if you're one of those guys who collects those rare Nikes, this would be super cool if you were collecting fragrances as well. 100%, if you are a fragrance collector, I would recommend you get this. And if you are a fragrance newbie and you don't know, this would be good for you if you are the kind of guy who can afford it, a cool hidden gem like this, and you match up track jackets and cool 90s and 80s Nike retro, because that's what it reminds me. This was made by Rodrigo Flores Ru. Now that guy, he made Holly Berry back around that era too, which was a famous fragrance. He also made all the John Barbados artisan fragrances and the Rebel and the Dark Rebel. So this guy is a serious perfumer. He makes some of the hottest fragrances on the market and legendary fragrances, and this is one of them. If you are a fragrance newbie and you're like, I'm not gonna pay $85 for that, 
Because why? Because you can simply buy Nautica Voyage for $30 and that will do you just right with a similar effect, but it's still not the cool bottle that sits on your thing. And this one, what does this have in here? Red apple and tobacco and it smells effing amazing the first two hours. It doesn't last as long as I would like, but that red apple citrus combo is so good. Another interesting note in Kenneth Cole Connected is called Persimmon. That's like a fruit, an edible fruit, almost like an orange. It does have some orange notes, mandarin orange in here, and it has some violet leaves. Now this Persimmon is a, a sweet, fresh note. So you're getting a sweet vibe alongside the fresh, alongside the driftwood and the mahogany, and alongside the tobacco. The next two fragrances I found were really, really cheap. Really cool Lacoste called Lacoste Bleu. Don't get it confused with Lacoste Blue Power. This is the old school retro 2011 edition. People don't know. It's very hard to find. I found it for 20 bucks. I put the link down below. You got grapefruit, sage, orange florals, patchoulis, and it's a semi-sweet, fresh, aquatic. Four hours to six hours lasting. Perfect for your gym bag. $22 price tag. The next one is $30 for this 4.2 ounce Sean John Unforgivable. And I found this little guy here for like $10 or $15. Which these fragrances, this Sean John Unforgivable, smells like an expensive fragrance called Creed Melissimi Imperial. It's like a spitting clone of it, to be quite honest with you. And as this video continues, I would like to give away this little pocket size Sean John Unforgivable to someone. Just tell me you want to be entered in the giveaway and share the video and comment some cool comments about your hidden gem freshies. You know, stuff like that. And I'll randomly select someone out of the blue in the next two to three days. And I'll ask you your address and I'll send it to you. Side note about finding pocket fragrances like this in the full presentation. This one is 15 milliliters found for $12. This is 30 milliliters found for $22. And they're perfect. Just throw them in your glove compartment. Keep them in a coat. Keep them in your gym bag, your backpack. Have them all over so you have fragrance ready, especially if you got a little travel bag because you're always traveling on an airplane or bus or whatever. You keep that type of stuff, little cool little sprayers like that, and you can grab them easy and spray away hardcore anytime you want because 15 milliliters equates to about 250 sprays and 30 milliliters is 500 sprays. So for that price, these two little bottles, if you ever see them, you're like, I need a 3.4. Sometimes it's cool to get these, especially the cool brands. Like this Prada I found was like 1.7 ounce, but you can take this on a plane. Isn't that cool, Prada Lone? Let's get on with the video now. The next fragrance we're going to talk about is another fragrance that amazes me, like this Rue Broca Pride. It's called Missoni Eau de Parfum. Simply stated, this is a clone and wannabe clone of this fragrance here called Chanel Bleu. It smells like it. It's very comfortable to wear. It's $38 brand new full presentation on Amazon. Maybe a little bit less on eBay for testers or maybe there's different price variations. It's very fun to wear. Projects well and lasts awesome. And I would highly recommend this. All these actually on this fragrance. I love fresh fragrances. Next up, if you're looking for something like I'm sick of these blue style fragrances. You want something woody fresh? Check this one out. 22 bucks. It's called Ferrari Eau de Parfum Vetiver Essence. Another hit by Ferrari. They wanted to make a niche line, I guess. When it first came out, it was $60, $70, Now $22. Has the leather seat of a Ferrari on here. Has pink pepper in it. And it's called the Essence of Vetiver. So you can just smell the vetiver lighter, not full strong vetiver. You've got coffee notes and orris root notes, and that's like an iris, the orris root. It also has patchouli and tonka bean, and it does very decent performance for the price of 22 bucks. So does this next one. It's called Jaguar. This is a woody, spicy, fresh fragrance. Jaguar Performance. When I got this, it was only $20. On the back of it, it said $30 for some reason. And on the eBay, they're selling them for $35, but I found you the link for $20. I put it down below again. You've got geranium, you've got white musk, you got tonka bean, violet leaf, and orange. It's just a perfectly well-balanced, fresh, cheapy. Now find it for $20. Don't pay more than $25 for this. You know what this smells like similarly to? Kind of like Mr. Burberry Indigo. Have you ever heard of that one? It's got intense power, but you know, it's a cheap fragrance. And then one fragrance I keep getting emails about constantly 
and they they love it. I'm gonna tell you a story. This is called Rue Broca Touche, and this fragrance absolutely smells like Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mail. And then a viewer said, "Look, man, this thing smells like Ultra Mail," and I I smell it again, and it does smell like Ultra Mail. It was 28 bucks. It performs awesome like five hours hardcore strong performance and some people tell me they're getting eight and i was at this little store a cell phone store and i was in line five people back and a, the salesman was actually selling these and he sprayed some on paper to somebody that he was servicing and two people back the guy goes how much is that i want it he's like 45 dollars. so in a retail environment they might sell this 40 to 60 dollars and if you look on my link it's like 28 bucks or something it's called rue broker touche and now we'd like to tell you thank you so much for watching this video i love making hidden gem videos comment down below see if you can win this bottle here sean john it's cool for your old backpack i'll send it right away to you peace and love and i'll see you on the next video